Actually, I, I said that to her, and she looked at me and said, "That's not a word." And I looked it up, and yes, it's on it. It's it's well, it's in the Internet Dictionary anyway. There we oh, go. Man. I'm checking out Wikipedia. <laughs> Ad hocly. Okay, anyway. we have learned a new word today. Yes, we like have. Googly. Googly, yeah, but googly is just one of those weird, fun things to just say. Okay, yeah, it's fun. Getting it's fun. focused back on this amazing event. So, um, to get kind of a, a, a good feel of the event, it's actually on Eventbrite. Dot com. Awesome. And you can go in there and search for Supporting Strategies Boot Camp. Uh, and it is, of course, held in Tacoma. Which is great. Now, you, you mentioned that uh, Bill needed to buy a ticket. So how much are the tickets? Uh, I, for this exclusive audience of three, I'm sorry, there's four, five, four of us, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he's Close an enough. accountant. <laughs> Well, I wasn't. I mean, he I'm kind of. I'm going. Himself. I'm not. I was. I'm going, but I don't. That, that's okay. We exactly. understand. Yeah. So uh, we're we're offering fifty uh, percent discounts. Uh, oh, wonderful! For these wonderful members that are um, are hearing this wonderful cast. Um, awesome. If, so uh, tickets will be thirty bucks for a half day event. Um, I think it's worth every penny of that. It is for mm-hmm. the tactical stuff you're going to actually get away with there. So. When you're registering, uh, go ahead and, and punch in uh, the promo code POD50. P-O-D. P-O-D. POD50. Got it. P-O-D-5-0. Well, Good. I think, you know, one of the, the habits of wealthy people is that they constantly invest in personal development and growth. And so, I, I mean, just is, to me, it's like a no-brainer. You know, just common sense that if you want to, if you don't like where you're at, then you need to reach out beyond your own boundaries and invest in you. You're, you are the best investment. You know, it's like education. You know, degrees are wonderful, but the bottom line is it's selfish. It's what you do with that degree that impacts the world. Because just to have knowledge for knowledge um, doesn't mean anything. And it doesn't change people's lives. But what you do with it can impact the world. So it's the best investment. It'll be the best 30 bucks anybody spends this year, including you, Bill. Right, right. Yes, yes. right? Yes, <laughs> yes, I'm in, yes. Cut my strings now, puppeteer. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I could talk about so many things, but I am being a good girl today. <laughs> We'll continue it's with a this family show. broadcast for the it's family. family show. It's a family show. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, with this particular type of activity, you're going to have then guest speakers, and we're really going to get down to the nuts and bolts of what business is all about. Absolutely. Uh, I've specifically chosen every one of these speakers because of their story. Oh, that's interesting. I'm a story guy. I love a good story. Life is a good story. And I like people that live their lives with eyes wide open. Yes. You know, experiencing all of it that life has to offer. Feet on the pavement in business is so important. From all aspects. Yes, I think so. We're just not talking about your your shoes. Police record, though. No, no, I'm not (laughs) with that at all, no. I I would prefer not to thank you for bringing it up, however. You're welcome. I live in a neighborhood now that, you know, when when you go to shut the window, you break somebody's fingers. (laughs) Um, so I'm moving right along. We were complaining conference. about where Bill lived, and his landlord did listen to the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? I'm probably. Oh, yeah, and I'm probably. Yeah, being he wasn't very impressed yeah. that I did announce the DEA, the FBI, the CIA, Homeland Security, no, there was just the, the um, all of the police departments that sake. came in their in their their. I don't know, all riot the, gear. the riot gear scared the bejesus right out of me. I'm like, oh my gosh, Bill, why do you live here? I bet you he probably listens to this podcast religiously now. To see mm, that's what I'm afraid up. of, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm getting my I think he should get a hold of supporting strategies, which would help him, so that then that way maybe they wouldn't have you know such auto... Grand Theft Auto. That that is the video game that's played Actually, over there I think daily. Supporting strategies would be able to help I get think his that... money together so he could get the heck out of there. Hey, maybe you should schedule an appointment. Let's hey. start that conversation. Yeah. Let's have Open your books. Open the books. Become yeah. naked. Go. So Bill, go ahead and lean back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, there we hey. go. One for the so, guest. Bill. Yeah. So tell me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Phil is at a negative one now. Yeah. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Miserable. <laughs> How's that working for you? These are the good questions to ask. These, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> We're not going to be asking that at the boot camp, are we? <laughs> It depends on what the class is. Okay. Remember, we're moving businesses forward. Absolutely. And it's so important. I had an opportunity to meet with a little 11-year-old girl Saturday who decided to go into business. She wanted to do that because she's third generation and her family's all entrepreneurs. So she decided to design dog food biscuits and cook them. And she came up with her own recipes. She came up with her own marketing plan, her it was unbelievable. We have her on a podcast that will air next week. But she came up with all this stuff at 11. That's pretty amazing. Isn't that amazing mm-hmm. when you stop Absolutely. and think about that? And it's exciting because I think if we can reach out to the younger generation that's coming up, I, it, it will be so wonderful whenever you work with a younger person that's going into the idea of entrepreneurship. It is so gratifying because it seems like we have those that are working in the 45 on up class. And there's a big gap in between because a lot of these kids coming on board now, leaving high school or or different areas of life, don't know anything about entrepreneur. I mean, they don't know, well, they know brick and mortar and they know they get on the computer and hit Amazon and a guy knocks on the door two seconds later from Jimmy John's and drops off the Amazon package. But it's, it's... Well, I think the perception is, you know, the Mark Zuckerbergs of the world don't happen. I mean, you know, he landed it. I believe that was his destiny to do what he did. And, you know, I, I think the perception is, is skewed in the fact that entrepreneurial, entrepreneurialism, the individual that has that passion of creating, they will, you know, they work 60, 80 hours a week. They don't complain. They're relentless. They make less than minimum wage and they're glad to do it. Mm-hmm. And it's a passion. It's an internal drive, whatever that is. And it's all about creating. And it's all about, I mean, I look at, at, <clears throat> at those, those types of individuals as modern day explorers, pushing the boundaries, trying to find something new. And I mean, I, they're inspiring and they're incredible. They're amazing. And they're the individuals that, you know, reach, they'll reach for Mars. And if they catch some stars along the way, whether they ever make it there, they've still impacted the universe. And I, people have that ability to do that, to impact their environment and to do um, changes that last for eternity. So it's really amazing. Well, we're running out of, as usual, time, and I want to educate our guest. (laughs) This was fast. Uh, Jason, that she always gets the last word. See, I have to stop the show. He I have is to, lying. You know, I, I Candace gets the we last word. We banter about this whole last word thing. I mean, it's been going on for a while. This is tradition. So, Candace, go ahead. Well, Jason, just remind us. We, we need to go to um, Eventbrite. Eventbrite. Uh, we need to go to, we need to do the word search for supporting strategies, boot camp. Fundamental boot camp. I'm sorry, fundamental boot camp. Uh, and how about if somebody can't make the event? Boo, boo. But let's say <laughs> somebody can't make the event. But you know what? They'd love to have a conversation with you, Jason, Absolutely. because they need help. They want you to take a look um, and see what supporting strategies can do for them. How do they get a hold of you? Um, well, there's two forms you can do that. One, you can just give me a call. Awesome. I'm very available. And that number is? <laughs> that number is uh, area code 206 401 Nine one eight six. Okay, and the other opportunity. The opportunity is, hey, reach out to me in email. Awesome. I do respond. Um, and my email address. This is terrific. I love this. Is going to be easy. Right? This is going to be really easy. Okay, I'm, I'm taking notes. So So it's J F R E I L I N G E R. That's your last name, sure. Freilinger. Yep, you got my last name. Yeah. And it's at supportingstrategies.com. Wow, that's awesome. easy to remember. That's really easy. I love yeah. writing that down. Well, I love the fact that um, really by reaching out, they have a virtual accounting firm really at the end of the phone. And so it's not just it's not just a pretty face, but, you know, <laughs> you're local um, with the power of, of a firm and... <laughs> What an incredible gift. So I want to personally just thank you. I'd encourage our listeners to reach out and um, give Jason a call. 
And uh, if Jason's not the right one, get it, make a call anyway, right? Get Absolutely. your numbers in order uh, for Absolutely. the success of your company. Absolutely. So, Jason, thank you so much for coming on the show. I would love to have it, have you back, and I would love to actually go into your story. Because I'm uh, a story girl, too. I know. I know you are. That's why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and we want to hear about how the event went as well. So, Well, having jazz. It, it's going to be a huge success. Oh, I'm sure it will be. It's really great to have you on the show, as we mentioned. And I'd like to just close with the show with a simple, how are we doing, Candace, and your events coming up with the Wild Child Group? You know, they're phenomenal. We have um, in November, if you're wanting to reach out, our next event that we'll be doing is on... It's called Vision, Dreams, and Goals. And if you're interested, give us a call and we'll tell you the locations. We've got a couple of locations. And that is 253-961-7545. Again, that is 253-961-7545. And it is not, folks, dial a prayer. I, I misdialed it, so I wanted to straighten that out. I, I tried the number. I could and, do a prayer for you, though. Yeah, I know. It's I'm talented nice. that way. Amen. It's been great. Amen. That's right. <laughs> It's Can really I have a, a witness? <laughs> it's been a great show today, even though Candace was here. And I really enjoy uh, having the opportunity to discuss business with all of you. So until we meet again, keep us smiling.